constituents of Castro South, my fellow St. Lucians, let me start by saying Merry Christmas to all of you and wishing you God's richest blessings for the season. As we enjoy the festive season, let us not forget those who have succumbed to COVID-19, but forever cherish the fond memories that we have shared with them. During this season of caring and giving, we must also keep in our hearts and minds the less fortunate, the sick, and the shut in, and give selflessly so that they themselves can experience the joys of the season. COVID-19 has tested our resolve as St. Lucians for the better part of two years, taken away from all the exciting traditions and activities that we enjoy. It is paramount that we continue to follow the protocols in place to curb the spread of COVID-19 as we enjoy the fruitcake, sorrel, ham, turkey, and all the other delicious foods and beverages with our family and friends during this festive season. The country has survived four prior waves of this virus, and we want to ensure that we do not spike again in the new year. We have been tasked by the people of St. Lucia to rebuild the moral fabric of our nation that was put under immense pressure over the last five years. We are our brothers and sisters keeper. The way forward will be challenging, but we need to work together as one nation, one people, to continue to develop this beautiful island that we call our home. Our nation is built on a system of camaraderie, cooperation, and kudme. So it is very sad and heart-wrenching when we hear of our people being killed senselessly in acts of violence. I want to make a special appeal to all St. Lucians to settle disputes amicably and not by violence and hatred. Let us love, cherish, and value thy neighbor. Over the last five months, our government has been consulting with all industries and subsectors to get a thorough understanding of where they are at and how we shall chart a sustainable way forward for our island home. 2022 will be a very exciting year, especially for the tourism industry, as there are several sustainable tourism projects that will continue to enhance our tourism product. St. Lucians will also be given the chance to own and benefit from the tourism industry, even more through community tourism, which will be officially launched early in the new year. Visitors will best remember us for the local experiences and culture that we share with them. Creative industries will also see renewed energy in 2022 and moving forward. It is critical that we place emphasis on this part of the economy so that all stakeholders understand the potential that lies within it. In the new year, we'll be building a solid foundation to prepare for an explosive launch that will see many people reaping several benefits from the initiatives that will be taken. Like I said, none of this can be achieved if we do not work together as one nation, one people to build and develop our beautiful island home. Let us be proud of where we have come from and where we are headed. The future looks bright, and with every journey through time, there will be challenges. But let us not be shaken, but rather use them as lessons to grow and prosper. Once again, a heartfelt Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to all and wishing nothing but health, wealth, strength, and prosperity to you, your family, and our nation as we look towards a success-filled 2022. God bless. Thank you very much.